Hello and welcome to the first edition of uh, SML Divisional Showdown, and this is the NFC South edition. I'm the middleman. I'm the unbiased guy of the show, primetime triple zero, and with me is future, future, I don't know, Dan, Doink, Faz, they're all here. Guys, what's happening, fellas? Um, what's going on? I'm happy not, to be here glad to represent the best division in the s yes sir hey baby so so exciting show we got obviously sml anybody watching if you don't know we have cards that these guys all voted on each other i voted and then i had one kind of guy who's a secret voter that also voted and, and we kind of averaged out some ratings and, and that's how they came out and also just recently i updated these cards and you guys will see this popped up on the screen our viewers will of their development ratings that I've come up with based off of Madden development rating. So coming in here, um, actually Future and Doink tied at 75 overall. And uh, I guess Dan, we'll start with you. Um, if you wanna talk about one or both of these guys, do, do you think the, these ratings are right for, for Future and Doink or, or what do you think? Uh, yeah, there's a few things I would, I would kind of argue with a little bit. Um, I think Future's defense is a lot better than what his rating was. I would have given him, uh, and and I can't remember off the top of my head what mine were, but it was definitely a lot better uh, defense. Uh, I think he plays one of the best man defenses in the game. He always forces me to play differently than most other guys, so uh, I would get his defense a lot higher than that. Um, as far as as Doink, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I think he's he's a guy that's going to get better, but right now his user defense is the thing that holds him back. Really good team builder, really good um, getting the right pieces in place, but he's got to get his user defense up, and then his ratings are. But future would be the one I would say his defense needs to go up. He, he plays good defense. And, and Faz, what do you think about that? Yeah, I actually was going to talk about the same point. I thought Future's defense was probably a little low, uh, especially in rush defense. I can't run – well, I don't really run too much as it is, but for the little that I try, <laughs> I can't run to save my life against Future. Um, you know, I was in a situation last night, uh, you know, I playing against him. I, I got a couple of early turnovers that put me in a position to uh, kind of run out of clock, and, like, I, I wasn't able to do it. Like, I had to go to the pass game um, to try and run out the clock because he just – he's all over the run at all times – uh, and like Dan said, his man defense, most of the time when I get man looks, I'm, I'm kind of drooling. I'm really excited about it. When I see man defense from him, I'm like, oh, shoot, this is going to be this is going to be trouble. Mm -hmm. In future, uh, again, 75 overall, you're tied with Doink for for fourth place in the division, really, or third place. I guess it depends if you're an optimist or not. How do you feel? Do you feel disrespected by your rating? No, and I'm not going to say disrespected because I haven't been as consistent as I need to be. Um I do think, to the guy's point, my defense is a little low in my opinion. Uh, considering that I have won a divisional uh, crown before, I think my rating should be a little bit better than Doink's. But, mm -hmm. you know, I just got to be more consistent, so it's all good. Yeah, okay. And Doink, uh, what do you think? 75 overall, and that clutch rating is... Woo! Yeah, that's uh, it's a good thing there wasn't a, a kicking rating, but... Uh... <laughs> You, you don't two kicks in it, it's going to follow you forever. Um, I think that's the easiest path to, to moving up in terms of these, uh, essentially, I'm, I'm already the Mutt Bucks, you might as well get a better Mutt card for me. <laughs> uh, that's an easiest one to pick, make, make, some, make some clutch kicks. You know, I don't usually have, you know, struggles kicking. I know there's a couple guys in the SML who can't kick when iced or whatever. We, we don't do two untimely ones. It, it happens. I think that's easy enough to improve upon. And the other guys were right. I think, you know, definitely room to improve upon as users and coming in tied with future who, who did win the division last season, like, or season one, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't complain here. And I, I'm sure I'll have objections when I see the whole league's ratings, but in terms of this group, I think it's an unreasonable order. And one thing, uh, future and doink, um, these guys have star rating, star development. I put them in, not superstar, but star. Anybody have any objections to that? Do you think it should be higher, lower? What do you, anybody wants to say something they can? Okay. I, I think I think they uh, they're both again. Um, you put them in other divisions, they're probably going to be battling for the top dog every time. Mm -hmm. 
but you know, this is, there's no cupcakes. I, I, you know, you might, you might look at some other divisions. AFC North is pretty good too. I think they're right up there with us, but um, there's just nothing easy here. And I think both these guys deserve a star rating. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now looking at Baz and Dan, um, Dan 88 overall, highest rated player in the division Faz 87 overall. I gave Faz an X factor and I gave Dan a superstar. Doink, let's start with you on this one. What do you think about that or about these two players? Is their overall ratings right and is their development right? So the overall ratings, I, I think we're pretty good having them, you know, neck and neck on them. Dan obviously has the bit of the hand up on this, this cycle, at least with the title. I know Faz is itching to get his this cycle. What I, my interpretation of the, you know, giving Dan superstar and giving Faz X factor is I think Faz is a bit of the more dynamic player, although Dan now has Russell Wilson, we might see a different Dan come playoff time. I think that's kind of what you're trying to get at with giving Faz X factor. And I imagine there's only going to be a handful, maybe four X factors in the league. And I think Faz being one of them makes sense with Dan, I guess, being on the cusp. Yeah, I gave, I gave Faz an X factor because I think he has potential to explode so to speak future um you you play these guys quite a bit you've you, i know you've beaten faz a few times do you do you think dan's the best player in the division yeah i, I think dan is the hardest to play because he can change his style of play in the middle of a game you know you could take one thing away from him then he's pretty good at going to a second and third option uh faz is pretty good faz on defense, he's sneaky with his user. Uh, like we played last night, and I think Harrison may have had two or three interceptions, and like he had come out of nowhere, right? And but his offense, you know, it's easier for me to play Faz's offense than Dan's, because uh, Dan's is just a little bit more difficult. I see it from the previous season; he brought over wide receiver Hamler from Denver, and then now with Russell Wilson, it's just a different component. So. And it's hardest to prepare for. Faz is going to hit you with a little bit more of a splash. Dan is just wear you down over the course of the game. Like he'll start passing, and then later in the game, he'll just start running the ball with Williams or whatever. So it's different styles. It's just harder for me to prepare for Dan. Mm-hmm. Faz. But both of them are great players. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Faz, you come in a point lower than Dan. What was your immediate reaction to that? I, it, it probably hurt. Um, not really, because when you see where the, the point comes from, it's it's rush defense uh, and it's game management. And I mean, for those two things, like I, I really can't argue it. You know, Dan is the guy where he's going to kill you in, in the boring aspects of the game. Um, and that, that's what he thrives at. And honestly, that's that's what win ga- wins games. I'm that guy. I do stupid stuff um, <laughs> just because, you know, I, I like hitting the bigger plays. I like going for the splash stuff. I like calling halfback pass and it ends Mike's playoff hopes because I threw a pick with Christian McCaffrey. That's just what I do. <laughs> um, so I, I think that makes sense as to why I'm, you know, a point lower than him. Um, but I also think that's why I have the X factor and he is the superstar. He's the boring, the coward offense, the, I can't pass. So I get escape artist. Um, and then I'm just going to do dumb things and lose games in dumb ways. <laughs> yeah. So Dan, I mean, you're the top dog in the NFC South based off the ratings. Um, do you think the ratings are right? And how good did it feel to to be above FAS? Uh, it, it felt good. Just felt like old times, really. Uh, just, uh, you know, constant, uh, you know, just one step ahead of them uh, in, in most categories. Uh, and so that, that did feel good, of course. Uh, I actually agree with, the, the, with everyone what they're saying with the Superstar X Factor. As everybody really knows in Madden, X factor really doesn't mean much anyways, uh, just because, uh, you know, it only gets lit up every once in a while. And usually it's a pretty dumb X factor anyway. So really the money is superstar. Uh, that's what matters most fast does have the stick skills. He's got the call of duty. He's got the NHL, uh, you know, uh, double sticks things going. I, I can't compete with that. Uh, that's a young man's game, but, uh, I'm happy that, uh, I excel in the, the 97 game management. That is where it is because, no matter how old you get, you never lose this. Well, eventually I will. But for a long time, I still got this. And uh, so as long as I'm at 97, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty You're going senile pretty quick. Uh, yeah. I would, I would I mean, hold on to that rating as long as you you're can. Slipping, you're slipping. You're uh, slipping. Dan, uh, 85 clutch gene, did that, did that bother you at all? 
Uh, no, it didn't. Uh, I because when you fat finger a Super Bowl the way that I did, that should probably put you at zero. So mm-hmm. the fact that I built back up to eighty five, um, that, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good comeback. Um, you know, I, I don't think you can get much worse than clutch in that moment that I was. So I, I think that's a, a actually a, a better rating than. Uh, I thought could be. So, Dan, again, all your are all your ratings are you satisfied with, or is there one where you felt shafted on? Uh, the passing one, but you know, I, I get that. You know, when you when you work with uh, Teddy Bridgewater for uh, two seasons and all the rookie QBs I've had over the years, uh, that's that's fine. I, I do think I'm a better passer. I, I do check downs. I take what's there, obviously, but I think uh, with Russell Wilson, you're going to see uh, a little bit different there, but. But again, I think it's all fair. I, I try to be as fair as possible. You know, I look at myself, and, and I think everyone was fair with me. Faz, do you feel like your ratings were good, or did you think you uh, – do you want to debate any of your ratings? Um, I think the defensive IQ might be a touch low. Um, I think generally I have a, a very good idea of what everybody's going to run against me. Um, I think it was – was it Matt – who said he hates calling plays against me? No, it was Finns. I think Finns said it. He hates calling plays against me because I knew what all of them were before they were coming. So I feel like that might be a touch low, um, but the rest feels uh, feels pretty accurate. Rush defense is probably still too high at 74. Yeah, and, and stopping Finns is definitely the gold standard uh, in, in the SML for sure. Um, hey, man, Finns is balling right now. <laughs> he is. Ow. I just, I just want to take a shot go, at Finns. Go, go uh, Canada. In future um, – I hate on my Canada. Do you, do you have any – I mean, do you want to defend your any of your ratings or say, hey, you guys, maybe you, this is low? Um, now, I will say I think that uh, as is rushing maybe a little low, mm-hmm. he might be one of the better stick skill guys when it comes to running because uh, he does a lot of juking and, you know, with McCaffrey. And I've only caught him one time where I made him fumble, maybe in that first season. Mm-hmm. Uh, with as much as the way he jukes, but he does it is very timely. So I think he's rushing to be up. Mm-hmm. Um, and my passing is, is 71. I can't do nothing but agree with it, you know. Yeah. My first season with Winston, I was pretty efficient with him. Ever since then, man, it's been terrible. Like, it's like when it rains and pours. It's like, <laughs> the end book of my rookie this year, it's just been awful. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, if I feel like if I can find a way to get a decent quarterback, the cycle is over, then I'll be, you know, right back where I can continue. Like I'm a player away in most games. So, yeah, uh, I think my car is pretty, pretty good. It's overall, I got room to improve and I know that. So nothing but to go out and do it. It's like night. <laughs> no, I, I, after looking at everybody's ratings, I'm going to get to Doink in a second. I think Future's pass rating is low. 71. I watch his games and this guy freaking gunslings it. I love how he throws the ball, but uh, Doink, Future's never seen a window he couldn't hit. Yeah, I mean, he 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 freaking rips that thing in there. I love it. It was some bad quarterbacks. Um, doing seventy five overall, uh, fifty eight clutch. Gene, is there any of your ratings that you think were a little low? I mean, I I can't argue with the clutch gene after after doinking two big kicks as much as much as it bothers me and as much as I. You know, I'm not. I trust myself to make big plays in big moments. Um, I think that some of the defensive ones overall, I'll be in like basically averaging out to about a 70. I'd, I'd like to think those are at least high 70s, if not maybe even 80, compared to some of what other people have in the high 80s. But again, that's nitpicking, and overall, it came out pretty good. So yeah, um, just a few more questions here, boys, and then we're gonna wrap this up. Um, all right, um, this is open mic question: Who's gonna win the most division titles? Uh, depends so, on the snowboarding then. <laughs> hey, snow snowboarding trips are out. We're okay after this season. There's no snow. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I think Faz will, uh, yeah. just because. Um, what are division titles? No, no one cares about division titles. <laughs> what's it so far? That sounds it? like somebody doesn't win many of them. Is it what's it? One for future, one for Faz so far. Is that what we have? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then one for Dan second. at the end of the season. Yeah, yeah, probably. Me or you on that one. Doink, are you gonna get one? I think, I think maybe. I I'll get one. I'll get one. He may be younger. That Panthers team is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So, who's gonna win? 
anybody w- want to proclaim like, hey, you know what, Doink, Doink's not going to win one, or anybody want to make any predictions like, hey, you know what, I'm I'm going to sweep my division over the next season or two. Anybody want to make any bold division claims while we're here? Now's the time to to make a rival if you want to make a rival. Uh, I will say this, Doink and and Future. You both have one huge fatal flaw right now, and you will not win a division until you fix it. If you want to know what that is, DM me. I'll tell you. But you both have one fatal flaw in your team building, that if you don't fix that, you cannot beat Faz or I for this division, guaranteed. In our team building, interesting. Okay. Interesting. I will say that I think with Future, it's the situation that he walked into with the team. Yeah. I think that the Saints are so handicapped with the moves they can make that he's already so far behind that I don't know that that his team allows him the chance to win that many titles. I do think I can see him back in the playoffs. Um, Doink obviously has the the big team advantage, but I don't think I see him winning a title because I think you just lose too many random games that just make no sense. Like it's ZZ. Not, it's been a rough last <laughs> five weeks. Two blowouts and three three throwaway games. Prime just kicked my ass today, so so yeah i think you just i think you just throw too many away to where like dan he's just not going to throw away games like that i will on trips <laughs> um tiny. bring back tiny yeah well no tiny has gone my kryptonite's no longer here so i'm all right so one final question are you guys the best division in the sml easy yes. yeah yes no doubt all right We're everyone back in the uh, back in the playoffs until I just got until I just got escape artist, nobody in our division really had one of the OP uh, abilities. So mm-hmm. NFC North can run their mouth about whatever the record is or whatever they've done. Yes. You've got two. You've got two freight trains. You've got escape artist Lamar. They're just they're just running off the crutches of the abilities. So mm-hmm. uh, there's no doubt that NFC South has the best combination of team builders, IQ, stick skills. Um, and uh, we'll win more Sambardis this uh, this cycle than any other division. All right. Yeah. And my final question, are you guys going to hold Faz out of the playoffs this year? <laughs> yeah, he's done. So. I think I'm cooked. Okay. <laughs> Put a four. Stick Listen, a fork right, in him. got to play all three of us right here, these three guys. Mm-hmm. And he- I'm done I'm done with Future. Oh, you're you're done? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with Future. You're going to lose to me or Doink, guaranteed. That's going to yeah. kill me. Yeah, no, I, I think yeah. so too. Come on, Faz, I, I think put up a fight. I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> Plus, you got, um, got Prime and uh, and Clink. Clink sucks. We're good. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> we're we're good in the we're good in the Clink thing, but the Prime game will be tough for sure. Uh, and the big problem is that I don't have enough like winnable games in a row to where Jordan Love won't be like his rookie self. Like I get, like I so I just beat Future and then I get Fins, which like. I should hopefully win that game. If I don't, I don't deserve to be in the conversation. But then I play Dan again. So, like, it's yeah, just – that's the way the schedule is. Still got second-best QB in the division. Somehow. Right now. You, you guys go. might suck for that, but <laughs> – so there you have it, guys. That's the NFC South Showdown. Future Dan Doing Faz. I appreciate you guys so much for coming on. Dan, congrats. You're the NFC South best player voted on by your division and some others. So anonymous. So <laughs> all, right, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And, and until next time, that's SML Divisional Showdown.